I'm Hugh Reporter, your coach and mentor. Welcome to another lesson of our niece creative flow. In this lesson, we're gonna go over chambering. Why do I chamber all the way? Why do you see some practitioners don't necessarily chamber all the way? Doesn't mean they're ineffective. My approach to it and the way I was taught was to chamber all the way. And the reason I chamber all the way, I wanna be able to function in a full range of motion and a short range of motion. If I train just short ranges of motion, I won't necessarily be able to function at the same speed with power that I can from a full range of motion. Not to do my techniques halfway, like from here, if I'm doing angle one, let's say, or an angle four, it was always to come from the chamber, chamber. A lot of people may say, well, that's inefficient. You can't be quick that way. You have no power, but actually you have a lot of power, obviously, from a full swing, and you can be just as efficient. Like anything, you have to train it. You can't be fast, explosive, and all the other things that go with that from a full range if you don't train it. Whereas if I just trained shorter ranges, I wouldn't have that attribute. I wouldn't know how to go back there. Whereas from a full range, I can, I can go short, and I can also go from a full. So off of an angle one strike, if I chamber, if I start here and he does an angle uh, one, of course I can hit him from here. If I know what I'm doing, I can hit him, you follow through. So I can hit him here and then he does an angle four, I can hit him there. Because I'm not, you can see I'm not chambering, I'm not coming all the way back. I can be fast and I can be explosive, of course, but the power may be different. And also my hand is more vulnerable because it is in the way. And so I don't necessarily always leave it in the way, but I like to play with the different ranges. So if I was here, let's say, if I'm here and he f keeps following through this one and this one and four and I'm there, and if I keep my stick here, yes, I can touch. And you've seen in some of my past videos, I just touch from here, but that's just because I'm there. But I can also go full range. If you notice, I'm still going full range. So you can go a little quicker. Boom, 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 hit. So I'm making, oh, there we go, that's okay. Making contact, hopefully not hurting you in, nope. <laughs> right? Oh, that was a little one on the elbow a little bit. Okay, and I'll get that hand, that hand, oop, that hand, that, hand, that, hand, that hand. So as you notice, I'm tagging and I'm going full range. So that's the benefit and the beauty of being able to go full range. I can have speed and explosiveness from full range and I can also be just picking things off with power as well because I've trained both. So when you're training in our knees, Kali Eskrima, Filipino martial arts, train both. Your system may be a medium range system. Play with the different ranges. Don't get stuck in one range because we don't fight in one range. We don't fight in medium range all the time. And if you have a weapon, you technically would be here. If you watch a lot of the random videos on YouTube of people just street fighting, they don't start being this close to each other. They're way out here. And when you see some of those videos where they have like a, a stick or something big, the other person isn't rushing you to fight that person. They're staying away. And that person's keeping them away with the weapon that they have. That is typically the first range most people will start from because one, they don't want to get hit and you're afraid to get hit. So the reason I chamber is so I have the flexibility of all the ranges, as I've said earlier, a million and one times. To demonstrate one more time, you and Ophita is one and four. So I'm, I'm in my ready position and you can see I'm just picking him off. That hand, that, oh, that watch, that expensive watch. That's okay, no, keep going, never stop. We should probably put your glove on, eh? <laughs> no, it's not hurting me. <laughs> Boom, bam. Is that too fast? No, it's perfect. I try to make it as real as possible for you guys. He was going fairly quick, and you can see I'm sometimes cutting it short, sometimes I'm getting a full chamber. I'm also trying not to hurt his arm. And that's another lesson on control while applying speed, because the power, everybody can do. But speed and control and accuracy, not everybody can. Thank you again, Ewan, for this awesome lesson again. If you've got any questions, please send them in. I will respond. Leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Activate your notifications so that you get the latest video. My videos will be every Monday and Thursday. Thanks again, Ewan, for having us in your Garden of Eden. All the birds are flying around and I'm like, Wah! swatting them out. No, I'm not. I love nature. Thanks again, guys. I love your comments and questions. See you on the next one. Finish them off, Ewan. Wow. <laughs>